Get out. I'm done. <laughs> Here we go. Got a shower. Hey Chris, I fell on my side. Well, here's my boo boo. New hood. New fender. A little bit of body work. And a new guard for that window pillar. We'll see how it goes. So you don't need to take those clips out. It's inserted like that and then clip down then the bolts. So take out the four bolts on the edges, two plastic pins. These plastic pins I removed, I thought that was holding it in, just hold this black plastic to the cowl. Looks like you got these. Looks like you're just pulling it hard enough to pull out.
I say prep work's done. I just half-assed it, but um, used a 3M Scotch Brat pad and scuffed up the surface. I'll come back in with a tack cloth and remove as much dust as I can. Like I said this is this is gonna get vinyl wrapped anyway, but I thought since I had extra paint, I'll go ahead and paint it in case I gotta pull the wrap off one day. Um, those new window pillar guards will cover all this damage, but I'll, since the paint was chipped, I'm going to go ahead and put some primer and paint on it anyway, just to keep it from rusting. And what I'll be using is this uh, paint gun, 3M paint gun. I don't remember what it was called. There's a part number on it. Um, it's just got different size tips. I'll probably use this 1.4 is usually what sprays really good with it. Got some BAP black primer, two cans of that. Hydro blue metallic. Got a pint of that, which I gotta reduce it so I'll have plenty of paint. Go ahead and shoot primer on it all and See what I need to do after I shoot a coat of primer on here to touch this up. Also, I just want it perfectly flat for that wrap. It don't have to be perfect, but perfect as can be for a quick job. I feel the same way. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know if that shows up on there. Does that show up on there? Good thing I'm gonna wrap this because it looks absolutely hideous. The color's pretty, but let's see how bad it was. All in spots, all that texture. Terrible. 
And that, kids, is why you prep your stuff better. Color will be all pretty. Color will be pretty when it's done, though. But nothing like that. Right, that one's pretty. Okay, finished product. Other than the color being too dark, love the way the fender turned out. I'm trying to see if you, I can get the orange peel, which I mean, new to painting, but maybe a factory amount of orange peel, so I'm not terribly upset about it. Turned out pretty good. So I didn't get hardly any, which this is covered by, oops, let me back up. This is covered by the fender flare, so. That turned out pretty good. It's almost a mirror finish. Wish I could have painted everything like that. And then just as I go on, oh, I can't pick up the orange peel, which you can kind of see it right here where the fender flare is going to go where I didn't cut and polish but she looks pretty mean these window guards which I'm sure I'll end up painting again because I'm sure I'm going to use them I got a couple of here those are actually base coat runs I tried to sand before it was dry so all these mistakes that I made I don't even know. I don't know if it just I rubbed it or what. But that's under the clear coat. Looks like I rubbed the base, and then cleared over it, so it'll it'll last. But I'm, once I mess these up, I'm gonna go get a, either a better color or a different primer. Because this is hydro blue, but it's a shade darker than my Jeep. And the hood. And let me tell the story. I, I rolled, you know, crinkled the other hood. So I picked this one up in Oklahoma City, which was a hell damaged hood. I've been, ex you know, experimenting with glue pulling hell dents, which I got those out. But the guy had dropped some sort of chemical on there that actually cracked the paint in little circles. So didn't think, I just got 600 grit sandpaper, sanded it down until I got bare metal and uh the loose paint off primered it didn't look too bad on the primer but you know also didn't care i was gonna i'm gonna wrap it anyway and uh not happy with it honestly i, I started running out of paint you can see right let me see right here yeah you can see the tiger stripes of uh black primer showing through just because i was, i uh i was running out of base coat I thought a pint would have been enough, but it wasn't, so it started splattering on me. But, you know, my priority was to get the window guards, the fender, and the Jeep pillar painted. I wasn't even planning on painting this one. I was just going to sand down the paint and throw the wrap on it, which, glad I shot a coat on there in case the wrap starts to peel off. At least you'll see some normal color underneath it, but, yeah. If I would have got this back from a body shop, I would have been extremely pissed. But since it was free, I had extra paint left over. I, look, here's one part. I forgot to sand where the paint was cracking. So that was all the way down here. And I guess I got it all except for I didn't notice that one. And that one showed through, which it's under clear. So I don't think I'll have any issue with it. But you can see waviness i mean this should have been probably etched primered and blocked if it was going to be done right and i didn't do it right and this is what you get if you don't do your job right so i mean it was experience learning experience anyway 
and it's going on a Jeep that I'm just going to tear it up again and I'll get another cheap hood and I mean I picked this up for nothing had extra paint from that stuff so I didn't even go buy more paint for it so for what the replacement is it'll work the wrap is $200 and I am the more I've been researching wrapping videos I know where I sanded right there is going to show through. Well, I'll do a video on it. I'm sure that dent is going to show through. But since it's a, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to go out and tear it up anyway. Ah, who really cares? Tear it up and replace it with something cheap again. I mean, I could have just left it the way it was and it probably. I mean, it would have ran just fine. It would have went down the trail and got beat up more. But I've kind of been getting my hand into body shopping. So now I know what not to do. And that turned out great. But I did learn also that if you're going to paint a lighter color, don't use black primer. Because that definitely either needed another coat or two of base coat to lighten it up. Or... I could have went with what Jeep did and did, did a gray primer. I did black primer. Oh well, make more videos on it. Things gonna look pretty cool. We'll see. Let's see if I keep fucking this one up.